With growing populations and changing needs, nearly every city in America actively makes modifications and improvements to its infrastructure. Recent software and technology innovations make this an easier process for planners by bringing together geographic information and design. This idea of geodesign is unleashed with ArcGIS 10 and Wacom Interactive Pen Displays. Using a pen directly on screen in combination with real geographic data, planners can quickly and easily create, modify, and share designs. With the release of ArcGIS 10, we see a big shift in GIS. GIS has been a tool traditionally to map what we have created already. But with ArcGIS 10, we have the ability to create features before we actually map them. So in this case, I'm using the pen display as a way to create a land use plan, and I'm using ArcGIS to map it, to analyze it, to summarize it. So this is a huge shift in GIS. We're no longer waiting to see what happens and then mapping it, we're creating it. We're mapping it on the fly, we're analyzing it on the fly and getting that feedback right away. Traditionally, planners are given a set of criteria. They would create a loose diagram of their plan, they would go through a set of analysis, and maybe over a course of time would come back and maybe make some refinements to it. The power of the GIS allows me to immediately see what my design looks like, not only on the map, but in numbers. So with every zoning polygon that I add to the map, I get an immediate feedback of what that result is on the community, on the plan, and then I can adjust my plan accordingly on the fly, knowing what the impacts are. The pen is an intuitive device for working with geographic data, allowing planners to follow natural boundaries or contours of the land when working to transform ideas into a formal plan. The interactive pen display allows them to sketch freely, to play symbols, and to control vital information that's tied to real-time geographic data. The Wacom Interactive Pen Display gives me the ease of use of doing a sketch as I would on paper, but I'm actually drawing features into a database which carry with it all the information required for me to summarize my land use plan. I can choose to draw in a light rail line, and I'll just simply add this into the map following the existing roads of my city. So I'm going to add three main light rail lines that all lead to downtown. The interactive pen display becomes a sketching canvas. There's data behind every feature that I add to the map, and that data can be analyzed. Now that I've added my transportation stops and my light rail lines, I can analyze those features and get an update of where the areas are walkable and where they're not. And I can see that there's some errors in my design. So what I'll do is I'll go back add some more stations, add some more light rail lines. But I can use the pen display to allow me to do this a little bit more, you know, naturally. When paired with ArcGIS 10, Wacom Interactive Pen Displays help speed the design workflow, making it easier for planners to manage, analyze, and share information. And the long-term benefit of improving the process is helping speed project development time and reduce expenses. For more information on Wacom Interactive Pen Displays, visit our website at wacomgis.com.